going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this spring flower doily but you can also use these as placemats so if you want to do it in uh, Christmas colors or something like that and have them underneath the plates um, for dinner this would also look very nice so I did this first in one color and I thought you know I could change every row and really make that flower pop and so I made it with different colors and I made it with scrap yarn so this would be a really great scrap yarn project if you wanted to get rid of some stuff um, so this was made with just worst weight acrylic yarn which is 10 ply for Australia and 4 ply for the US and it's the same thing with this one and this is my hand here in the middle it's uh, pretty big it's about this a little bit bigger uh, than a plate so if you wanted to add an extra ruffle on the outside to make it uh, stand out or be bigger you could or use a bigger size hook with this one I used a five millimeter hook or a size H hook for the US but like I said feel free to to change the hook size if you want now for this one I'm gonna go ahead and do it in just one color I'm not sure if white will show up so well let me see if I can find something else wait I think I'm going to use the sticker yarn that I have here so I'm not going to be changing colors as I go but I can let you know if you wanted to make it like this so I'm going to go ahead and grab my five millimeter hook and my yarn I'm going to back up just a bit and we're going to start with the center of the flower Now we're going to be doing a lot of triple crochet clusters in this and everything else is basic double crochet chain slip stitch things like that so the only real big stitch in this one is the triple crochet cluster and I'll be showing you how to do that so to start you want to chain four one two three and four and you'll slip stitch in this beginning chain and I'm using this bottom chain uh, the bottom loop of the chain slip stitch to form a ring now for round one you want to chain two and then you'll be working in this ring you'll double crochet 11 in this ring and I'm going to be working over my tail as I go and that beginning chain 2 will count as the first double crochet of uh, the round so do your 11 double crochets and when you get done and you count it all up including the chain you'll have 12 stitches One, two, three, four. Seven. Okay, so I have 12 stitches total. So when you have your 12 stitches done, you'll be slip stitching in the beginning top chain, top of the chain two. And that's the center of your flower. Now we're going to be starting to make the petals. So if you want to make your petals a different color, simply get your next color and you'll be just exchanging out your color of your yarn. I wish I had a another color here. Here, I can show you with this. When you want to change colors, all you have to do is grab the next color that you want and then just pull it through your loop and then pull the color the loop down and see how it tightens it and then you can just pull this tighter and then there you go you'll be starting with your next color 
but for this tutorial I'm only going to be sticking with one color throughout the whole thing. So grab the color you want for your petals and we can get started. So you want to chain three. This is round two. So for round two, chain three. And you want to skip one stitch and then you'll be slip stitching into the next. So skip a stitch and then in the next stitch, going under both loops of the stitch, you'll be slip stitching. And then you'll repeat this five more times. Chain three, skip a stitch, slip stitch in the next. Chain three, skip a stitch, slip stitch in the next. And at the end, you should have six little chain three spaces. So you can count one, two, three, four, five. I have five. And now in this beginning stitch where we started, our first chain is where we're going to end by slip stitching into that same stitch. Now we're going to be working our petals in these chain three spaces. So for round three, so stick with the same color of your uh, petals. So you want to chain one and you're going to slip stitch into this first chain three space that will bring you right on the top of it. And then you want to work a, see chain one, slip stitch, chain three, one, two, and three, and you'll be working a triple crochet cluster. Now this first cluster that you make will only have five loops, but uh, the rest of them will have six loops. So to do the very first one is going to be like all of them, except uh, you're just going to have six loops at the end instead of, uh, five loops at the end instead of six. So you're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook into this chain three space, pull up a loop, and now you're going to pull through two loops at a time. So yarn over and pull through two of them, then yarn over and pull through two, leaving that last loop on the hook. And you're going to do that again, yarn over twice, go into that chain three space, pull up a loop, then you'll yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you'll do that again. You want to do it until you have five stitches here. So yarn over twice and do your next, pull through two, pull through two. Now you have four, so you want to do one more time. You have five loops on your hook, only for this first one. You'll yarn over and you'll pull through all five loops. Sorry, my nose is running today. Okay, once you pull through all five loops, you want to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to go over to the next chain three space and you'll make your next cluster. So yarn over twice, go into that next chain three space, pull through two, pull through two. Oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. Okay, then yarn over twice, go into that same chain three, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over twice, go into that stitch, pull up a loop, then you'll yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. You want to do that until you have five triple crochets in this place. Now I only have uh, four in this place, I mean in this stitch. This chain three. Okay, so now we have our five, and you can count them. One, two, three, four, five. And you have six loops on your hook. Now you want to yarn over and pull through all six loops. And that'll give you your second petal. And then you'll be repeating that all the way around. You'll be chaining six again. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Then you'll yarn over twice, one, two, and then find your next chain three space, and then begin your next cluster. And you'll be doing that all the way around, and you should have six petals just like this. And I'll keep doing it, and then when I get back up here and I'm, whoops, and I'm ready to uh, do my connection, then I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, I got my six petals done, and now I need to make my my final chain to in the round. So since we're going to be slip stitching in the last, uh, I mean in the beginning, the top of the beginning cluster, the slip stitch itself will count as a chain. So because of this, we're only going to be chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. After the last petal of the, the round. And then we're going to slip stitch in the top of the cluster, which will count as our sixth chain. And that completes round three. Okay, so for round four, again, if you want to change your color here, which I did to green to kind of make it look like leaves, then feel free to do that. You're going to be slip stitching in this first chain six space. And then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and you're going to work a triple crochet cluster here. So just like you were doing before, you're going to do your five clusters, incomplete clusters, but the first cluster of the round again will only have five loops at the end of it. Okay, I have my five clusters here. The chain will count as a cluster. Five loops on my hook for this beginning one. Pull through all five loops. Then you'll want to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we'll be working in the same chain six space and you're going to work another cluster here so yarn over twice go into that same chain six space and start your next cluster and this one you will have six loops when you're done So each of this chain six spaces from the previous round will be having, will have two petals worked in them. So I got my five incomplete clusters here, six loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all six loops. And that's your first set of two. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Okay, then you want to chain six. This is going to be a repeat now. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to chain six and then you're going to work the same thing you did here. You're going to work one triple crochet cluster, chain six, one triple crochet cluster, all worked in this one chain six space. So continue to do that. And after you do your two clusters and then one, space, you'll chain six, you'll move over to your next chain six space and you will work two clusters in this one. So continue this all the way around and I'll see you when you get up to the end here. Okay, I just finished my last petal here. You should have 12 petals and as before, instead of chaining six here, you only want to chain five before you do your slip stitch because your slip stitch counts as a chain. So three, four, and five. Find that beginning cluster and slip stitch to complete round four. Now, so far you're up to this green. 
Now for the next, I just did another kind of green. So if you want to change colors here again, uh, feel free. And this round is very simple. For round five, you're just going to be repeating round four. You're going to be putting two in each chain six space, and at the end of the round, you'll have 24 petals. So let's get back to the beginning. Okay, for round five, again, you'll be slip stitching in that first chain six space, chain three, and then start your first triple crochet cluster. And remember, the first cluster of the round will always have five loops instead of six. Just want to get my, there we go. You have four triple crochets here and then the chain, which counts as your five. So yarn through all five loops and then you'll chain six five, six. So I want to make sure it's six. Yes. And then again, you will put another triple crochet cluster in the same chain six space. Whoops, I forgot to yarn over twice. I'm just putting my second cluster. So that's four. It's my last one here. Five. Okay, so I got my five clusters, six loops on the hook, pull through all six loops. Then you will chain six again. And then now you'll move over to your next chain six space. And as you can see, there's two here, two here, and then from here there'll be two. As you can see here, there's two worked here, two worked here, and then in between here, there's also every chain six space all the way around. Put two triple crochet clusters in it. And then when you get done, you'll have 24 petals. Okay, I'm back. I have my 24. And if it feels like it's bunched up, it'll just flatten it out like this, and it should lay flat. Now we're using the same technique for the end. You're only going to be chaining five, three, instead of six because we're going to slip stitch in the beginning cluster and that slip stitch will count as a chain. So that's it for round five, which is this light green here. So the next one is just going to be one cluster worked in between the chain six. So every chain six, we're only going to be putting one cluster in all the way around. And I did it with white. So feel free to choose whatever color that you want. And this is going to be the last cluster round because the next is going to be just double crochets. So also we're going to only be chaining five in between in between each cluster instead of six. So let's get started. So for round six, it's going to begin like all the other rounds. You're going to slip stitch in that first chain six space and then chain three. Then you're going to work your first cluster in your chain six space. Five loops on the hook. Pull through all five loops. Now for this round, you're going to only be chaining five. So one, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna move over to the next chain six space 
and start your next cluster. It's my third triple crochet. It's four. And there is my fifth. Six loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all six loops. And again, only chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then move over to your next chain space. And you're just going to continue doing that one cluster in each chain six space with a chain five in between. Continue that all the way around. And at the end of this round, you will still have 24 petals all the way around. Okay, we just reached the end of round six. And since we were doing chains of five this round, we're going to do a chain of four at the end and slip stitch into the beginning stitch to complete the chain five there in that space. Now for chain, for chain, for round seven, let me just back up a bit. This is the, the last row. I used the color that I used for the green just to bring the, the, all the colors together. But use any color that you like, but point is, uh, use another color here if you were trying to make something like this one. So for this last round, round seven, you want to chain two, which counts as your first double crochet, and then in the same stitch, which is the top of the cluster, you want to do a double crochet. Then you're going to move over here to your chain five space, and you're going to work three double crochets inside this chain five space. And then you're going to work in your cluster again, which is here. Looks like there's two stitches. Always use the one closest to you. And you're going to work two double crochets in the same stitch. Then you'll repeat working in the next chain five space in all chain five spaces for round seven, you'll be putting three double crochets in it. And then for every cluster, you'll be putting two double crochets in it. And you'll be repeating this for the whole round and you'll slip stitch in the top of your chain two to end the round. And at the end of this round, you should have 120 stitches. And that is it. Let me move this out of the way. That is how you make, you can call it um, a plate, you know, mat or a doily or anything that you, you need something to lay down. So that you know to make something pretty to have some kind of border around it this would work great under a lamp or you know a vase so it's up to you so this is how you make the spring flower doily or placemat thank you so much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to like and share this video um, please go to uh, check all the sites underneath the description in this video you can find me on facebook google tumblr twitter um, pin pinterest so take a look there and feel free to join me wherever you are so thank you so much for watching